getting on the Yamaha R1M has been a fantastic feeling with the bike straight away. Um, you know, as always, just need uh, with such a change, you need as uh, much seat time as possible. And unfortunately, the weather hasn't been so kind to us. Uh, this this couple of days here at the Phillip Island, we've um, only managed to get in four sessions out of a total of eight. So um, half the track time, it's kind of uh, it's it's hurting a lot, you know, to be honest, to, to miss so much seat time on the bike. Um, but in saying that, in the short amount of time that I have had on the bike. Um, I feel great and uh, already making some solid progress. So um, working with the team has been really, really good. Uh, they're yeah, just a very good sort of group of guys that are they're doing their best to um, give me everything that I need on the bike. So it's really great. Yeah, I heard they're a good bunch of blokes because they told me they were. So um, one of the things I want to ask you about is, you know, adapting from what you were on to this, uh, what are the things you go through or there's some just things for you that always work? Yeah, look, it's a big, um, big process going from uh, one brand of bike to another. Particularly when I've spent uh, quite a number of years um, on one particular brand of bike. So, um, yeah, coming across to the Yamaha R1M, you know, it's it's a matter of um, being flexible and adjustable in, in terms of um, d defining whether it's uh, something that needs adjusting with the motorcycle or working on my riding to um, to adapt to the bike. So. Uh, yeah, basically it's just having an open mindset really that's the main the main thing and um, of course always working on you know it's a never-ending process with suspension and geometry on the motorcycles try and get the most out of them but um, but of course you know with the with the big change it means that I need to be flexible with my riding and, and adjust my riding style as well. Now one of your competitors said something to me a bit earlier that stuck with me and he said if there's one thing we know about ASBK is that you shouldn't take too much away from testing in terms of what it means for the season. Uh, do you feel similar or are you really looking for some improvements and moving forward? Oh, look, the first, first test here uh, of the season, the pre-season test here at Phillip Island is um, uh, you know, you can take it with a with a with a pinch of salt. I mean, uh, in terms of my situation, you know, like it's going to be something that I'm not going to be blindingly quick quick straight away. It's going to take some time through the season to, um, yeah, adapt and get comfortable and find the find the workings with the bike. Um, you know, but of course, if if uh, you're like Wayne Maxwell and you're as you're as fast as you are, then uh, then uh, you know that puts you in a really good spot to start, kick off the season and start really well. So, um, yeah, basically, you got no no um, no reason why you shouldn't be winning. Now, we've got six weeks actually until the season starts proper back here at Phillip Island. Will you get some more seat time back home or is this it for you prior to round one? Absolutely, I'll be back on the bike uh, again, uh, hopefully in the next week or so, um, to just get that seat time. I mean, like I said, uh, missing track time with the wet weather has been, been really uh, difficult and so um, looking, I'm looking to get the most amount of track time as possible so I'll be doing everything I can to get back on the bike at home and, um, and getting some ride time in on the bike. Outside and away from the track, what do you do for your training to be fit and ready to go? My primary training uh, for fitness training for the motorcycle is to um, get out on the bicycle. I do both a bit of road cycling and also mountain biking. Um, for me, it's just a, a lot of fun. I like being on two wheels and um, you know, getting out of the bush on the mountain bikes. Um, it's a similar sort of um, headspace that you get into when you're on the motorbike. You know, you've got to be very focused with a, such a high heart rate. So, um, it, I, in my opinion, I think it's a really good training, and um, and I enjoy it a lot as well. Uh, mix like to mix it up with a little bit of um, strength training in the in the gym, or maybe a bit of running or something. Um, but um, but primarily on the bicycles.